Hello, Whale fans, and welcome to another Wild World Tour Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, by request, we are making Canadian Pacific number 8757 Every Child's Matter Unit. And this is a ES44 AC and it's brand new for 2021. So let's get right into the build right here. As usual, let's take out great concrete. Take out great concrete. And then we want to place attach up by two by three of gray concrete. And then we want to have we want to have some stone brick stairs. We want to have stone brick stairs to be used right here. And we want to have Stormbook Slap with a coupler, and we want to have trick bar hooks for the air brakes. We want to have Stormbook Slap in the middle with a coupler, and some trick bar hooks on the sides. And let's take out great concrete and make two stone slabs right here, and make a secondary wall of great concrete. And we want to make this middle section so that is 34 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Then do the same just on the other side. Then Stonebrook Steers on the sides. Do the exact same thing. Exact same thing right here, add a coupler and the air brakes. Then do the same thing, add stone slabs right here to be the stairs. Then another secondary wall of gray concrete. Then let's take out blue box wide by placing gray concrete for a whole entire locomotive. And then we'll get started for the wheel. So here, so let's grab some um, hopper. And then we also got some steps right here. We want to have three axles of each wheel, front to back, by placing the hoppers of this locomotive of our Canadian Pacific. And then let's take stone, stone brick slabs right here to the airlines. And then do the exact same thing at rows of hoppers, three axles, and then Sternberg slabs. We come sooner to be to be starting for our locomotive of our Canadian Pacific number 8757. Every child matters to make our locomotive. So let's grab more Sternberg slabs right here to be the airlines. Perfect. Now let's create great concrete. Let's grab, let's grab more layers of gray concrete. All the rest right here, do the exact same thing. All the rest right here by placing gray concrete. Just like this. And then let's take out stone brick stairs. So because we placed that already. So because we got stone brick stairs. But the full one's gonna be gray concrete. This one's gonna be a little bit different. And we definitely do the same thing at upside down stonework stairs right here. And then let's take three gray concretes and then three stonework stairs, then in three gray concretes, and then stonework stair. And then let's get some Keisha wood slab. Yeah, Keisha wood slab. And then let's grab some more layers of acacia wood slab right here. Be the floorings. Do the same way, just like on the other side, just like in the back. And more layers of acacia wood slab. Because sometimes, sometimes it's not red right here. When you don't have red, it's only about orange right here. 
and then let's just add some fences so let's grab some um acacia fence and then a big fence so this was gonna be just the fences right here just the acacia fences right here for our locomotive of our Canada Pacific and then let's grab more layers of acacia with acacia fences just like this then let's get started on the cab so first let's grab some orange concrete and then white concrete and then let's get some acacia wood stairs and then we also need acacia fence gate we need acacia sign we also need um for let's remove all this junk right here I got everything in my inventory and let's get some room that so let's get so the rest just get some windows right here but let's we also need um black stained glass block white stained glass block black stained glass pane and then glow either frame Now let's add some orange concrete and a white concrete and then orange concrete, just orange right here, and then add acacia with stairs. And then let's take more layers of orange concrete and then let's add acacia with stairs. Then do the same just to get other side. And now let's take eight orange concrete right here on the floor. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let's take 10 orange concrete right here on the floor, but different. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like this. And then right in the middle, where will we place that cage with fence right here? We weren't going to destroy that, that's for the bedrocks right here, ladies and gentlemen. And let's get some glow. I'm going to use some glow either frames right here. And let's add white stained glass block right here for the dash lights. And let's add orange concrete right there. Another row of orange concrete right here, two blocks tall. And, and let's take more layers of orange concrete right here. And let's grab some more layers of, let's grab some black concrete for the number plates. So let's grab black concrete. Then let's grab more layers of orange concrete. Do the exact same thing. And add black concrete. And then add black stained glass paint. And then just like this. And then orange concrete. And then black stained glass blocks for the windows. And then orange, like a T-shape of orange concrete. And then let's grab some acacia wood stairs up top. And then let's add some orange right here, which is the roof. And then let's get some 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 acacia signs. So that's 8757 and then 8757. Just like this. And let's add acacia fence gate. Just like this. And let's get some ladders right here. Let's grab one right there, one and another. Just like this. And then we want to have the same thing. We want to have, let me see. So that's right between that we place. We, just, we want to have orange concrete. Then we want to have a L shape, which is the every time child's matters just like this and then the rest is going to be orange concrete just like this perfect then let's get some more layers all the way around by placing orange concrete that we stop right there let me try to see okay so this is different so and let's grab this one right here we want to have a gap right here gap of three and then orange concrete make a whole entire detail right here on this locomotive ladies and gentlemen 
to make up our Canadian Pacific, we want to have bear rocks. So starting from bear rocks right here, we want to have making a W shape and a U shape. And then we want to have a gap of one right here. This is for the piston. For we want to place that later on. And we want to have white concrete right here for the logo. And the, and we want to have orange concrete. And we want to have more layers of orange concrete. And then we want to have more layers. All the rest of that. And we want to have more layers of orange concrete. Fill all the rest of it. And then the rest of orange concrete. Just like this. And let's fill all the rest of orange concrete through the right hand side. And let's get some more orange concrete. We want to, I'm gonna destroy that. We want to have an opposite L shape, which is every child's matters unit. And let's add more layers of orange concrete, filling all the rest of that. Let me see, did I make it taller? Matter of fact, I'm gonna destroy that. We want to have more taller, just like too short. But we will still have more layers. I'm going to destroy that. We want to have more orange concrete. Then more orange concrete right here on the other side for the left hand side, ladies and gentlemen. And then let's grab some more layers of orange concrete. The rest of that, that. Let's add bedrocks, orange concrete, two bedrocks, orange concrete, and then orange concrete and then bear rocks and orange concrete just like this now let's grab more layers of orange concrete do the exact same thing right here until we get right there to make our Canadian Pacific logo right here and let's get some pol let's start making the Canadian Pacific logo let's grab some polished black stone brick slabs so let's grab it by one so we want to have one two three four and then we want to have the cover the orange concrete right here and we want to have all the rest right here so let's grab some layers right here we want to have all the rest of orange concrete we want to have one two three four and then one two three four five six this is for the logo of Canadian Pacific. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like this. And we want to have like that. Let's see. Does it? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. It's way too far right here. We want to move a little closer right here because it's way far away. And let's grab more of this uh, polished black stone brick slabs right here. We want to destroy that. And let's grab more layers right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's like more, much more easier right here for your Guinea Pacific right here by using slabs right here, right here. And then let's grab some orange concrete and then fill this logo right here so we won't leave any marks. Then let's grab more orange concrete and then fill the rest of orange concrete just like that. Perfect. And then let's grab more orange concrete right here on the left hand side right here to fill all the rest the whole entire cap and then fill the rest of placing orange concrete just like this then let's grab some acacia wood stairs then let's we want to have a place right there and we need some acacia wood slabs we want to place right there to make layers with which is we want to before we place our horn which want to have more orange concrete and then we want to have this gap of orange concrete right here we, before we place our bedrocks right here looks like that for the vent and then let's grab orange concrete through the back just like this and then let's grab some acacia wood stairs by one one two three four five six and then one two three Four, just like this. Then let's grab, do the exact same thing. Let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, just like this. And then let's grab bedrocks right there. 
And then let's grab Acacia Wood slabs right here at the top underneath. Let's grab Acacia Wood stairs right there and one on another. And then let's grab Acacia Wood slabs right there and another vent right there. And we want to have polished black stone brick stairs right here for the deck. And then do the exact same thing right here at Acacia Wood stairs. And then polished black stone brick stairs. And then Keisha Wood stairs right there. And then let's grab Keisha Wood slabs right here to fill the top layer. Just like that. Back to back. Just like this. And let's add underneath right here also as well by placing Keisha Wood slabs. Just like this. And then let's get the horn, which is let's grab our dark oak fence gate for the horn we want to place right there just like this then let's get started on the bottoms right here so let's grab our loom before we start our our bottoms right here so let's grab our bottoms right here okay we need a black banner and we also need orange dye okay we need black banner and we also need orange dye to make the border right here for the whole border right there and then bottom and middle just like this and after you got this door bottom right here you want to place it one right there one and another just like this then let's get some fences right here so start for the carpeting so let's grab some orange carpet right here, filling, covering the bedrocks right here that we just placed. And then let's grab iron bars. We don't want to, don't forget that. And then that's what we place right there. And we also last this final bedrock. And also with this final ladder also. And then let's get some fences to get ready to start it. So right here for starting the fence please, right here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna use um let here is let's get another brick fence. For each case of fence, we also need some spotted string. And we also need red sandstone stairs. And we also need orange carpet. So, got our fences. All right, right here at fence, right there. That we just go, go place right there, making two blocks tall of fences for right here to make to before we carpet. We want to don't forget our piston right there after we start our fences to be start right here. But I'm going to replace into acacia fences for the back layers. Another row of Case the fences right here. We want to have another row of netherbrick fence right here to be the right side of our Canadian Pacific number 8757. Every child's matters unit, just like this. We want to have for one more thing. We want to have a last final orange concrete that we want to go in place right here. We don't want to leave no any marks right here on this document, ladies and gentlemen, because it's very important. To have our layers in another row of red network fence right here. I'm gonna use spotter string because I'm definitely gonna use spotter string right here. Because I'm gonna want to start with the piston right here. I'm gonna grab, grab the piston right there, and that's what we have over there. I'm gonna place spotter string right here before we start in the conference right here, and it's completely by itself. This is gonna be a layer of your locomotive. And then that's it for our train of our Canadian Pacific number 8757. Every child's matter unit to make a walkthrough by placing spider strings. And the final row, let's grab some orange carpet right here, all the way right around. We want to have it all the way right around the whole surface by placing orange carpet. And that's the left side of our Canadian Pacific number 8757. Every child's matter unit. To make a walkthrough, and it's an ES44 AC to make a walkthrough all the rest of these by placing orange carpets. Then I'm going to do some another layer right there, 
going to use smooth red stone stairs right here and we want to place right there right here and then orange carpets right there and there and there and that's where we have it right there let's now take a closer look we are almost done so let's get our final row right here and we want to have layers of we want to have some um iron trap door for the final row for a finale for our locomotive right here ladies and gentlemen that's we have it right there so we did it so that's how you make a canadian pacific number 8757 every child's unit i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have one make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe and while to trends on youtube so i'll be posting more videos in the future and i will see you guys next time bye